In this video, I'm gonna show you how to design mechanical machine-like designs in Blender like this one. Let's go. Now, before we start, let me tell you that if you're a beginner in Blender, I highly recommend you grab our Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender course, which will give you all the foundations for Blender and Hard Surface, including modeling, rendering, the UI, everything. It's a free course, link is in the video description. Enjoy. Now, let's look into creating precision made designs in blender made of metal mechanical designs and there are a few things you need to do in order to pull it off okay one of them is going to be having quite dense geometry okay that's why for example cut software is so good at it because you know you can create insane curves and billions and you don't have any distortions in terms of shading so what we want to do is you want to go really dense on it right to have a lot of geometry to work with to you know to begin with right so when you cut this um you can easily mitigate any shading problems another thing that you want to do is you want to use small bevels so instead of using soft bevels like this right you want to use really really tiny bevels that will sell this mechanical look okay and now i'm going to show you we're going to cut this with a, a box cutter uh, here right and even with the bevel you can see that the shading holds there's a bit of a distortion here but maybe we're gonna add weighted normals it's gonna disappear there we go and it's a very clean bullion and that's thanks to the uh, density of geometry so our faces are not being bent so we can easily control these cuts and then you know you can just start getting clever with it so let's just go here maybe go grab a bevel like this and mirror to the other side we could technically uh, create kind of like a railing system here so maybe around two of them in here like this grab a bevel maybe create um, like a smooth bevel now when you create a smooth bevel you want to have quite a few um, segments i would say nine at least uh, you you want really all these transitions here to be very smooth and that's gonna sell this um, kind of a mechanical look much better okay here we could have another cut uh, like this maybe straight one that's going to be quite interesting and uh, let's just apply this or uh, maybe before we apply this let's just have a scroll it and we can create some uh, interest here on the side so we could go from from the side here and maybe you know cut this like this and create some some interesting elements here make it really tiny there we go here in the front uh, so let's apply this now and we're gonna go with multiply and i'm gonna run the chamfer here now with chamfers what you want to do you want to run different sizes of chamfer so let's run a smaller one here but a larger one on the top okay we can even remove you know these edge this edge here i'll just drop it down a little bit so you're gonna have different sizes of chamfer right of chamfers this is really important um and uh, it's going to actually add a lot of interest to your design okay you can mix and match them so we can you know let's say um you can run some chamfers here as well maybe smaller ones like this mirror to the other side and this starts to you know look already really cool here on the top we can uh let's just scale it down a bit and maybe run some em macro to create like a separation and on top of this we can have some smaller cuts smaller cuts is another interesting thing that you can do and they will also add quite a lot of interest to your mesh like this right one here maybe just add one here right and we can add also some cuts here one and on the other side and also on this side right and you can see that very quickly we start getting something very interesting um, same here we could add some maybe round cuts so let's switch to object orientation and uh, hold shift and scroll it to like maybe 50 so it's really dense right let's apply it and just let's create uh, a chamfer and then turn off the loop slide okay and you know it should be fine if it's not fine we can actually fix it so let's run connection edge here dissolve this one click alt click now should be fine there we go all right and that looks really really cool here on the top we could have something as well so maybe inset it scale it a little bit inset it 
extruded you know chair for this again and then inside it really deep and extrude it inside it and extrude it chamfer it and then create a really narrow one like this right and chamfer it and chamfer in here and chamfer maybe a wider one like this and there you go guys a very simple mechanical design um in blender we could actually even have more cuts in here if you wanted to maybe vertical cuts like this small ones yeah they're gonna really add this kind of a mechanical feel you see what i mean um maybe not on, maybe not here but maybe somewhere here there you go you can rotate them a little bit if they're causing you grief so you can change the pivot to cursor and you can rotate them on a cursor because cursor is in the middle right to a place where you know which doesn't really cause any any damage but the reason why we have some kind of a shading distortion is because we simply have no um supporting loops here so there we go and that looks really really cool same here we could just grab a you know grab a ring and scale it on um, x and y Control b that q alt and macro and create a separation on the top and boom and then all you need is a mat okay mats are also important so you could go with material works which is our add-on we have a ton of different mats and currently we're working on edgeware now when you're watching this video maybe the edgeware is out so you know you can already use it at the moment it's in beta we're still testing it so let me add machine still go to render view and you can see already how cool this looks and we can actually go to transform and increase the scale so the scale is a bit you know a bit um, more dense maybe go to three there we go and on top of this we're gonna add some edgeware so i'm gonna slap some edgeware here uh, maybe uh, let me see that maybe change the scale here to two three as well or maybe even five there we go and then change the strength to something lower and the same on the edge just you know change that and maybe increase the uh, the samples so it's going to be a little bit more detailed there we go and this is a really really cool mechanical design in blender so that's how you do it guys so one more time you need to have dense geo to mitigate any shading problems it's really important right the denser the geo the better then you want to use very small bevels on these edges right really small bevels and then you want to use some chamfers and you want to change the width of the chamfers kind of spread them around a bit okay have smaller chamfers bigger chamfers uh, the same with bevels right and then you know these tiny cuts which actually add this kind of a sci-fi machine look to it and that's it guys it's really how simple it is to create a mechanical design in blender thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.